Hello everyone, I have decided to make another YouTube video, oh yes, here we go. Planet Coaster again, yeah. I, I haven't uploaded in a little bit, that's because I just, I don't know what to make, to be honest. That is my issue, I have, I have yet again contracted burnout. However, um, yeah, obviously we're building something today in the, in the theme park. Um, we're building an infinity coaster here. I've already built the, the first launch and the first inversion. Um, this ride has one one launch. It's what we've just built, and it's fairly short for an infinity coaster layout. But it, um, yeah, it, it, uh, it's, I quite like it though. It's a nice layout. Um, it's going to have a sci-fi theme eventually when I get around to building the theming. So yeah yeah that's what that's what it's gonna be themed to. And we're we're building we're building with the four meter method again. I am tragically bad with this method but I decided to give it another go and I don't think it came out that bad this time. Um yeah this was Definitely not my fourth attempt at building an infinity coaster. Don't don't worry about it. Anyway, um, this is most of the first half of the layout done now. Um, but this it kind of launches on a slope and goes into an inversion and then drops down and does a weird outer banked hill type thing. It banks inwards and outwards. And then it does a helix, and then an airtime hill, and then a corkscrew, and then goes up into a mid-course break run, which we do love. We love mid-course break, break runs. That was just me turning the graphics down because my game was lagging a bit. And here's me turning all the rides off. Anyway, yeah, I've now turned the graphics down. And I'm Oh yeah, it's this, this bit. So I'm trying here to build a a heartline roll straight off the break run, similar similar to um, speed at Oakwood, but I just couldn't get it right. It's really easy to make, but it was it was a pain because the smoothing tool kept, kept messing with it when I was trying to smooth it, and I I was trying to make it not not have the I, I turned the banking offset up because it didn't look very, it didn't look very circular. And then I tried it again, and it still didn't look prop prop why it should do. It took me a while to try and get that heartline row right. Now it looks all right now, but when I go to smooth it, it gets rid of the heartline row, which is not ideal. So yeah, oh yeah, this bit's a tunnel. Oh, not a tunnel, it's a dip there, and uh, eventually I'll put a path over that. I don't think I recorded that bit though, so you'll just have to believe me. In fact, no, you'll see it in the POV at the end. Yes, there's a POV at the end of the video. I've put POV in. I, I think I did change the corner of the track before I filmed the POV, but what, I didn't do that on camera. Oh, well, I was recording because I, 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 I kind of forgot, okay. I, f I forgot to I forgot to, to record it. Anyway, I'm I'm about, I'm about to build the brake run. Now the brake run is in two sections, kind of inspired by the swarm at Fort Park. There's one bit which slows it down, and it does a little turn around and goes into the next bit. Uh, this this is just because of the unique situation we were in with the paths. I thought this would be the best solution. And there is space for a maintenance shed, and a transfer track, and all, and all that. There is space. So yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can see here it's just got a little sort of turn around. It goes back up. It's more, more like the, the swarm is literally just a turn. This one kind of goes down and back up. Just thought I'd make it more interesting. And here's me just altering the terrain just to fit the coaster in and yeah here's me smoothing it 
I'm using the um, the mod which adds the smooth forward and smooth backwards buttons in. And yeah, here's me trying to fix the the heartline roll. Yeah, I'm I'm using that mod. I can't remember what it's called, unfortunately. And I'm also to speed things up. I'm using an auto clicker, so I don't have to spam the smooth forward button. So yeah, that, that's that's very nice. I was using an auto clicker with a mod to make it smooth it automatically. This makes the 4 meter method significantly less painful. And it is just going round smoothing it. Um, I've not completely finished the smoothing. Here's me just watching it just to make sure all the elements are alright. And there's the heartline roll being functional. And yeah, there will be a natural PLV at the end, which it is mostly smooth in the PLV. Um, but it is, um, it's, some areas do need a bit of smoothing still. It's going to come up in around 30 seconds, I think. I don't know, here's just me testing it again. Um, yeah, this, the second half is quite, quite a bit shorter than the first half. It kind of does that heartline roll and then dips down into the under the path after a little turn it's not really that that long for second half it just kind of makes it way back make oh here we go so yeah i've added um, a path path in and i've also put that flat ride down over there because i wanted that flat ride in the area i might move it later i just kind of put it there but here is the plv so we've got a launch into an inversion at the top that was kind of inspired by the incredible hulk islands of adventure and then you go through this helix. Some of the banking is a bit off because the smooth the smoothing tool got rid of a load of it, but I will come back and fix it. And here's the mid course break run into a nice slow heart line roll which definitely needs more smoothing. Into a nice little turnaround and under the path. It's not got much speed here, so there's there's quite a bit of hang time at the top, so like that hill there, I've made it bank at the top by 90 degrees-ish. It's not quite 90, it was 90 and it was moving until got rid of a load of it, but yeah. Made it bank quite a bit, to, to give a little bit of hang time. And that is the end. So if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, join the Discord, and I'll see you in the next video.